wonder how to install Kabuto in VirtualBox? So watch the video to learn how. Hello everyone, welcome to Kuzunar Lessons. Today is the day we're going to install Kubuntu in VirtualBox. So the first thing is to uh, I need to launch my things. So I'm going to just uh, log into my server so that I can actually just sit and do some work. Okay, we're here. So we're gonna go. Okay, we are ready. So we're going. What we're going to do today is we're going to install Kubuntu in a virtual machine. So well, the, the things we need is we're going to need to download Kubuntu. So. Uh, so Kubuntu 15.10, we're going to download that, but you can download any other version. Also, I have BitTorrent ready with the um, with the package here. So, uh, so we're going to install that. So uh, we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to download Kubuntu, and we could download the latest release. So you can uh, um, you can also you can download from BitTorrent. That's what I did because it was taking like, the server is so slow. It was taking forever for it to download. So. So we are ready. So, uh, 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 okay. So, well, I think that uh, you know, okay, that was weird. So um, we want to understand about uh, now that we're going to actually install the Kubuntu. So what we're going to need to do is start VirtualBox. So um, uh, we're going to start VirtualBox, and after that, we're going to um. Uh, after starting VirtualBox, we're going to make a new virtual machine. So we're going to call this Kubuntu 15.10. Then yeah, this is going to be a li uh, Linux OS with Ubuntu 64 bits. Alright, wait for me. Now we're going to uh, 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 we're going to make the memory. So we're going what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, the 2048 megabytes. Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to make. So we're going to create a virtual hard disk. So this is a VDI hard disk. So um, uh, um, but it's actually we're going to do dynamic. I'm going to do fixed size in this video. So we're going to make this. Uh, I think 20 gigabytes would be good. 20 gigabytes. Create. Creating virtual hard disk. So, so I think this is going to take a while to create. Uh, I meanwhile I'm going to do. Uh, um, this stream is remaining. I'm doing this on a normal hard drive. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to create. I will take a break right now and just uh, we'll come back. Back. So I'm. Uh, I took my break. Everything went fine. So I. I mean, so we, I need to go back into the server again. Uh, let me see. Me sharing. Uh, this one is, is it. So well, uh, here uh, I'm going to actually uh, check out the virtual machine. So this is Kubuntu 15.10. This is correct. So uh, in BitTorrent, I, I what I want to do is to just double click here, continue because this is safe for sure. And uh, this is Kubuntu 15.10 uh, even desktop AMD 64. But well, uh, this is the ISO file. It looks like it's a WinRAR file, but it's not. It's an ISO file. I downloaded from the internet, I think. So wait, let me just uh, double click on it. <laughs> so um. So this is the ISO file. Let's go great. So uh, that sucks. That's how it's supposed to happen. So um, we, we, okay, we're going to need to do is to uh, minimize all this. Go back to the to VirtualBox and then uh, go into the settings of this set. Because I think I remember what I'm, uh, I'm doing. I should not do anything wrong. Just tell me. Just I'm not doing. I think I'm not doing anything wrong. So we're going to just go into the system and then we're going to uh, just check out. Um, check out. The, so this is the boot order of the device. So we're going to. Um, so yeah. So display storage. Okay. We're going to need to put something in the DD. So we're going to make this a live CD DD and choose uh, virtual hard optical disk drive. So uh, choose virtual optical disk drive. And then we're going to. Um, so this is in downloads in this case because it downloads. Into, so, and this is it. This is the Kubuntu. I have a whole lot of ISO files because I do a lot of testing of operating systems and actual computers. And then we're going to just press OK. Okay, we're going to start the virtual machine. We're going to start it up and we'll see if it's working. Yeah. If I didn't do anything wrong, it should be working. Okay. Let me put it. Okay, there are some problems. So, uh, so this, so. 
let me just put this in full screen. So, oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a very long message. So, so, so uh, mouse integration. Okay, I will do this until it boots up. And uh, okay, actually, I think the mouse is working. You guys uh, see, th this is my my Windows mouse is disappearing. We have a hole over it, but I need to do. I just sh should not do anything wrong. I should not do anything wrong. I mean, I I may say I actually waited for so long because I really wanted to make a video about it and test the Kubuntu too uh, and test version of Box the latest version. Um, you should. I've become a. Oh my! It's already booting. Okay, so the dynamic. I think that was the SSD. That's why it booted so fast. So I um, actually leave these quite fast. Um, as you see, there is some lag whenever I move the mouse because I'm not okay. So, well, there is some a little bit of lag. It's okay. I mean, say, and also my mouse is over the Kubuntu mouse. That's the KDE mouse. Okay, this is going to take a while. I had to. Uh, I okay. Whoa, that's already done. So we're going to install Kubuntu. <laughs> so uh, we're going to. Uh, it's not. Okay, I think I need to pl plug this into a power source. It's a laptop, and I need to plug this into a power source. So I'm plugging it into a power source. Okay. Okay, I actually plugged in my laptop to into a power source. I so I'm not plugged into a power source. That's odd. Well, I'm going to continue since it's actually charging right now. So we're going to continue. It's not. Det oh, okay, well, I need to go back. So wait. So I'm going to install third-party software because I, that's quite necessary. I'm not going to download updates. I'll download updates later so that it works fine. I'm not true specification. I'm actually plugged into a power source. Is okay, but it seems for it to continue. So I don't know what it's doing. Wait, I'm not. I shouldn't break anything. I should not break this video. Well, the interface is quite good already. I mean, see. <sighs> so, so use entire disk. And I'm not going. To, I don't know all these settings. I mean, I just uh, know the first setting. And we're going to we're going to um, we're going to actually put this whole disk. We're going to install the whole thing. Uh, so this is going to continue. I'm not. This is not going to affect the computer because this is a virtual machine. So. <laughs> Okay, we're going to need to go, so this is uh, going to be a uh, Los Angeles time. Uh, okay, that's uh, perfect. It's going to be Los Angeles time. That's uh, great. So we're going to continue. So I don't want to give my location. So this is Los Angeles time. Okay, we're going to make this an English US keyboard. That's uh, correct because I'm in the US. So we're going to, that's per, that's per what my keyboard looks like. Uh, well, I'll add the number pad. Uh, so we're going to uh, okay. I'm going to call this Krishna Das. So we, this is the username, the password. Okay, I'm going to just uh, what? What delete button is not working? So the delete button doesn't work for some reason. Oh, uh, that's a problem. I, some reason there's some compatibility issues. Let's see. Yeah. It was some compatibility issues, so um, actually I cannot do this through the virtual machine. I have to do it far away. Um, the good idea is I could just try to actually find out the setup. That's quite uh, amazing. Okay, so I think there were some technical difficulties and had a shot across the room to actually uh, get this uh, working correctly. <sighs> so it's technical difficulties. Sorry about that. So. Um, I think I will just leave the power cable. So the loading button isn't working for some reason. So I think you know, it's just fine. So I'm going to choose the password. Uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, type in the password. Uh, it's not the very most convenient interface. Then we have to do it again. Okay. Then we're going to require my password and log in. Uh, I'm going to just remove the virtual one. Okay, I'm going to just leave it. So I'm going to continue. So we did our settings and install. That's great. So there are some technical difficulties uh, on the computer and yourself. Like I will just test this. Also, uh, just take this. And yeah, the delete button is working on the computer, but it's not compatible with the uh, interface that we're having. So uh, actually, I'm thinking that I should uh, 
fix that up as soon as I cannot fix that, but it, whatever. Well, I am going to have to, so it's actually been quite fast. Everything is going very fast and because I think that the DVD is quite fast. So fast and also you might see this smoother right now because it, it's working fine. But I think you know the delete button is not working in the virtual machine because that's the first problem. I think you know, it might be a normal booty because this is fully based. Well, everything is like, just, I call it change here, right? which is great. So I charge so quickly actually. So I charge 93% in just 5 minutes. So I think you know, that the power source is quite good. Okay, so I'm I'm waiting, and it's 82 percent. I I don't want to count percentage. It was doing really quite fast. Now it's doing a little bit slower. I'm actually having more technical difficulties than usual for some reason. So, um, actually, I'm going to uh, launch Finder and just uh, log into the computer again because I I got stopped working. So wait, we'll see. Let's see the status right now. The, other computer so as you can see it's uh, running the post trigger update not and it's stuck and I don't know what it's doing so I, <laughs> I cannot see the command line it was doing anything important but it's looking like it's stuck literally so running post trigger I think I had to leave this alone for a while yeah it's still on that it was doing quite quickly until this point in time and yeah yeah, I have to learn that I should have selected the Mac keyboard for the delete button to work. But as it looks like here, it's not exactly working correctly right now. It's still stuck at 92%. And we'll see you later. Yeah, welcome back. Um, so I actually um, I finished with the installation. So we're gonna connect. Okay, here it is. Well, I accidentally minimized the installation, so that wasn't supposed to exactly happen. Also, I'll try to fix the other problems that happened. So, you should, why do you put minimize button? But I will restart this uh, computer now. But, okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So, the, okay, I think that if it really so it starts it to the office system because I selected live CD, uh, that's great. It's, it's going to be fine. But we'll see what it does. We're going to. It, the, okay, optical drives, it, it remove this from virtual drive. Okay, that, it would, we need to do that. Um, okay, that's done. So we're going to see, yeah, okay, I think he, yeah, if it boots up wrong, how do we do the whole thing? Oh, that's a lot of stuff, actually. That's, oh, my webcam is also appearing. Uh, okay, we're going to understand, they believe, it's okay, that's a, okay, wait, I'm going to power off the machine and just try to do it again. Uh, okay, that's not exactly supposed to be there. I was uh, trying to fix something, so I'm going to start. Okay, so it does have a view card, it looks like, uh, of some sort. Now it's restarting correctly. This time, without the DVD, uh, it's uh, just uh, uh, that's not exactly a good. Ah, now it's. Uh, wait, let me see if it did it ejected the optical. What? No, 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 no. Wait, I'm going to just go into settings and uh, storage. We're going to have it empty up the drive. Make sure it's empty, okay. So we're going to just start up again so that uh, we can uh, have a fresh start on this. Let me see if it's okay. That, but I need this to be done correctly. So, so um, if this is not. Correctly, so uh, this is going to take a while. Yes, I'm patient this time. If it doesn't work and boots it to the old, uh, it's like uh, right now. So, uh, okay, so uh, um, that's uh, yeah, this is normal Linux. Uh, okay, that's I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting patiently again. And yay, that's great. So and I'm not using it, I think I might want to change this right now, so, and uh, this is the plus, so, whoa, this is a lot of stuff, so plasma feels safe, so, uh, yeah, that's so weird, <laughs> so we're going to log in, with my password, so, whoa, 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 um, the delete button isn't exactly working, Maybe 
Jacob Bates said, it's so cool, it's cool. The better of winter actually, I think it's a great option if you want to change. Also, I need to fix other settings, like make this mass bigger. So, uh, I think this is going to take a long, longer time than thought. But even, I mean, say I've tried to make this fast as possible, but it's not exactly helping me with anything. Ah, there's the mouse pointer came back, so. Great. So, uh, I may say this is, uh, this is a great way to test optic systems that I wish I used it before. Well, uh, to test the optic systems. <laughs> when they actually make a lesson over this, uh, did you, I mean, I just want this to work before doing anything else. I just want to know if it's bleeding or not. Uh, I'm going to wait until this boots up. Uh, okay. So, uh, because. Well, it's quite fast, as you can see, but the, I need, I wish I had better Google video graphics to actually make it. Hello, welcome back. Uh, so I'm actually here, and this is the interface. Well, there may problem that the lead button is still not working. I tried my best, and it's not working. Except I can use the Windows computer to do that stuff. But uh, the lead, I actually tested it out, and the lead button works in the normal VNC interface. But I think you guys just need to investigate a little more about that. Everyone, welcome back. So I actually am uh, going to do some updates before the end of this video, so uh, stay tuned. So I'm going to just like, uh, maybe it will be connect. So I want to give you some updates that I did. The only update that I actually did uh, was to make the screen block. That's like, was quite important, but I cannot fix the delete issue. I think it's a problem with VNC. But um, anyway, so we're going to just uh, log in. So the, or the log screen will still be small for some reason, but anyway, it's okay. It's uh, the log screen. You don't tell that was important of it. So uh, let me. So um, now I could go into full screen. So uh, I, I now could go into full screen. So uh, let me see. Switch. <coughs> So I'm in full screen mode, and also said like, this is successful. If I want to exit, so uh, let, let it log in. So I could, actually, this is, could be like equivalent to Office system, but it would not be as fast as an actual Office system. And also, this touch screen does work. So if I touch the screen, it works. <coughs> it works correctly as supposed to. Well, it's the more Windows touch screen. Now this takes a while to boot up, but as you can see, it's filling up my whole. Uh, entire screen uh why is that it's because uh, i actually did a command i downloaded the drivers for virtualbox i searched out on the internet downloaded some drivers and it worked i'll show you the command to do that later so first of all i need to let this start up it's just not exactly booting up right now but i going but i'm going to show you oh, yeah that yeah well this is not working either i don't know but uh so that's it something else so, uh, so I going to actually, I going to go into this uh, system. So okay, so to go to the command line here, uh, I had you to go to the system, then terminal console. That's uh, what what you're supposed to do. And then after that, uh, so the command is uh, the sudo. Uh, the command is uh, sudo apt hyphen get install virtualbox hyphen get uh, guest hyphen dkms. So if you press enter, uh, I need to do some system updates. And just type your password. Oh, wait. Wait, I typed type the wrong password. So because this is sudo, I had to type the right password. And so these, uh, it's supposed to uh, it already install uh, it, it because it's the newest version, but you should always have the latest version of drivers. And um, uh, drivers, um, and that's actually all. Um, well, let me see. That's really all uh, that I need to show you. The delete button is a problem in VNC. That's what I'm using uh, to uh, because I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's actually it. So um, you can just exit out and just shut down the machine. Uh, other stuff are you need to system updates. Not like me. I, the problem is and the. Uh, console I mean so you have to just do system updates that's a great idea it's not going to make your internet connection down because it's a virtual internet connection it's great so um yeah subscribe to my channel check out my last video and like this video and share this video with other friends on the internet so check out my twitter account at Christian.smad so this is Christian.lessons so thank you for watching this video bye
Tesla's the green Tesla. So we were, I invented there, the, okay, I knocked out the car on my opponent. So I got one that knocked out already, and he's a little slower than me because I actually knocked out his car. Okay, we go, we're going 